Okay. Take a look at this feeder. This feeder looks like an old kind of wild west right, upright in piano. a saloon, I know. upright piano, <laughs> and it sits out on your back deck or a patio. And when you fill it with bird seed, when the birds show up or in the case of Nancy and your favorite squirrel, that's one of my favorite photographs. I, I thought that was really I know, cool. I know. And now we have them at clearance sale prices. It's the very first day that we've had it at this low price. This also has reduced shipping and handling on it, and it's 25% off of what we normally would charge for it. Now, that easy pay opportunity goes away at the end of the day. This is all done in, in poly resin. Yes, it is, and that gives you great details. You're seeing right there that this is an upright piano, and I filled it with bird seed, and right. that's exactly what you would do, is put the bird seed right in that, that reservoir right there. And so when a squirrel or chipmunk <laughs> comes up and sits on the little bench right here, it's going to appear like they are playing the piano. And so it's so adorable. I love this bird feeder. I have had it out since I got it. It was the actual very first thing I took out when I came back from Plow and Hearth and put it out because right. I love to feed birds. Squirrels and chipmunks are welcome in my backyard as well because they were here first. And I just think it's so cute to have something that is so has so much personality. It's made so well. This is by Plow and Hearth. So they took all kinds of great care to make sure you have something that's adorable, but also something that's functional. So a lot of birds are more like ground feeders. Right. So when you have those hanging bird feeders, there's many birds that are not welcome in your yard just because that's not the way they eat. So I love that Plow and Hearth created something that can sit on a table or sit down low, or you can hang it up on a tree like this and see that little nut hatch coming right down the tree to get some seed out of this piano. It's so cute. Most, most bird feeders, quite frankly, are pretty innocuous. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the you know dinner sign, but it isn't in itself all that attractive You're or right. telling a story. You're right. This is really cute. It is. And they did a beautiful job on that hand painted finish on that mm -hmm. poly resin. Because it looks like like old wood. It does. And these two little guys are sitting up here on the top. Isn't it cute? Yeah, exactly. I love that they put two little bluebirds right up at the top there so that when your birds come, they have some company along with them. And I'll turn this around just so you can see how cute this is all around. Even the birds, if you look closely, you're going to see the detail of the feathers right there on these little guys. Plow and Hearth just spared nothing at all. Look at those feathers there. It's just beautifully done. And the grain of the wood. And then as long as I'm on the back, I want you to see there is a keyhole here. So if you choose yep. to hang it on a fence, on a post, on a tree, there's a way to be able to attach it very easily. And I'll keep turning it around so that you can see all this detail that makes this piano adorable, but also functional. I've met a lot of the people at Plow and Hearth, and they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me, it's still a family owned and operated business. They have wicked senses of humor. I know. <laughs> and the person who designed this first one scaled it perfectly Look at that for squirrel. a squirrel. I know. And so that's why we're calling it a wildlife feeder because certainly birds are going to come, but I love the no, idea no, no. that squirrels the, will come. When the squirrels show up. Yeah, uh, that's my, fun. my best buddy in the world, his name is Tim. Uh, his backyard, and we have signs. It's Squirrel World. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. He set up all kinds of these wonderful contraptions for squirrels to come and eat. And he'll sit out on his back deck in the That's evening so and just be entertained by this amusement park of squirrels. That's wonderful. And I thought this piece would fit perfectly for that. That's great. You know, you got to have at least one musician at the, the, the theme and park. And it might as well be a squirrel playing yeah. a piano for you. That's beautiful. I will see you way too early Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. We're going to have some fun. Yep. Because 6 a.m. East Coast time. Uh, we've got a whole hour, yes, which hour. launches the, the fall catalog for the wonderful folks at Plow and Heart. Thank you, Dan. See Thank you, soon. Nancy. All right. This, this is really cool. You know, define an upscale patio or a hardscape area.